I'll hold this. I feel like Bob Barker with this thing. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about tag management, which is a new category of uh, tools that on the scene in analytics. And uh, I think it's a very important category of tools because uh, most people who have been through, especially at the enterprise level, an implementation of a tool know that it is a big pain point and literally crippling. Uh, it can take weeks to do simple things. If you launch a paid search campaign or some sort of campaign to a landing page that's missing tracking, you might be blind on that page for uh, a week or more. Uh, we know people who have been blind for months on a landing page, sending millions of dollars of media to it. So uh, it's about it's about a technology that makes you more nimble and uh, allows you to control what's happening from a tracking perspective, uh, and also frees you up from some of the dependency on IT as well that most companies experience. So theme here is better, faster, cheaper, pick three. Uh, if, I'm, my Twitter is right there if you want to tweet about this stuff, if you're into that tweet Facebook stuff. Um, so let's get started. So I think uh, where, where we wanted to start when we came up with our tool uh, is, is just based out of our experience as an agency, we wanted to say, are we doing things the right way today? And I think this is something that's a sticking point on the internet because we assume that just because we're on the internet and we deal in technology every day that somehow we are sophisticated. And we are sophisticated, but the truth is there's a ton of room for improvement in what we do every day. And uh, I think when you look back, when you say, what are we going to say about what we're doing in 10 years, we're going to say things like we're really proud of the efficiency gains that we've seen. If we say in 2021 uh, that we're doing the same stuff that we're doing today to get stuff live on the web, uh, we're going to say that's a, a that's a big you know, it's a big mistake. You know, we, we have to improve the, our, our ability to get th things live, to be agile with content, and to react to what's happening. Uh, the second thing I think we're going to say is uh, the tools will all be more intuitive, but they'll also be more powerful. And today, there's a mistaken belief that tools have to be hard to use if they're powerful. And that couldn't be further from the truth. And that's one reason that we as an agency are really excited about Google Analytics, because it's built in layers that is, as you want to be incredibly sophisticated and complex. You can do crazy, crazy things in this tool. But if you just want to get in there and do something simple, you don't have to rewire the cockpit of a 747 just to see how many pages came your, you know, how many pages you had yesterday. <laughs> and then finally, we, we need to create technologies that make us less dependent on IT overall, and that's specific to our industry. So I wanted to come up with an example of, of this in the real world. And a personal example is my stepfather had uh, double bypass surgery about a year and a half ago. And what we're looking at here is a machine called called a Da Vinci robot. Uh, his, hello, uh, his surgery uh, took about two and a half hours. He came out with arthroscopic scars like you'd have from a knee surgery, and he was playing golf two weeks after a double bypass. This is a revolutionary technology that took something that doctors have been doing when they've been opening chest cavities for decades on end, and they said, we think it can be done better. And this is a better solution. It's a cheaper solution. It's a faster solution. The recovery time is better. The risk is lower. The cost is lower. Every single thing about this advance in medical technology is better. And I think we need to think about stuff like this that we're able to get a little complacent in the way we do stuff on the web. And it's really important for us to not forget there are huge advances to be made and we need to be pushing all the time to figure out if something takes us two weeks. It's 2011. Nothing should take us two weeks to do on the internet. So the point of progress is to get back to whatever the point of your life is. So for my stepfather, the point of the progress of the Da Vinci robot was to get him back to playing golf uh, literally five months and two weeks faster than the next closest patient that sat next to him in the recovery room. The point of us is to get back to work because nobody opens a website or a web business with the hope of tagging their website every day. That is not a business goal. <laughs> so we, we, we have to create technologies that don't draw the focus into the technology itself and expose that technology and create more uh, overhead and more attention, we need to create technologies that get us back to work, that allow us to do a task, finish that task, be, be relatively secure that it's done well, and then move back to the core function of our business. So the web has changed. This is what the web looked like from an analytics standpoint not long ago. People moved from page to page to page. And to monitor that took one tag. 
if I had a WordPress blog or a content management system that allowed me to include one tag in a universal header that would go to every single page on the website, I could see how people move throughout my site by doing one thing. But today, the model of the web looks more like this. When somebody gets to a page, they might use filtering, they might look at an image gallery, they might play a video. There's things that they do within each one of these interfaces, and we want to know as sophisticated marketers what those things are. And to do that, it's not more tags, it's, it's exponentially more tags. We haven't gone from four tags to more than four, we've gone from one to thousands, almost overnight. So I, I wanted to talk about a little bit about what tag management does, but I think it's kind of probably better expressed in terms of what it's not about. Um, to start with, tag management is not about tags. This is what a tag looks like for Google Analytics. The part in green is the only part we care about. And as soon as you have a platform that can help you just deal with the data as opposed to the infrastructure for that data, and this is a necessary evil. That's how we're going to get the data into the tool if we're putting that in, in regular HTML. As soon as you have a tag management platform, you remove the need for the infrastructure. The, the tool can handle all of the infrastructure, can speed that process up. You should demand that your tool doesn't require you to still work with JavaScript. That's pointless. You've just taken one small step for mankind when there's a pretty giant one that's capable of being taken. The second part about tag management is not about tagging. Like I said before, it's about getting back to work. And in the, in the workflow on the web is you create content, you learn from how people use that content, you react to what you learn by modifying that content or creating new content, and that cycle keeps going and going. And the problem with what we do today is that the learn box is a huge detour off the productivity highway. Because to learn, we have to spend hundreds and hundreds of hours getting tags on the page, making sure they work, maintaining them as content changes, and then we finally come back in at some point, and most of that detour happens in different departments of the company that actually want to do the learning. And then finally, tag management is not about IT, because if you can handle the technical parts and you can remove the detour in the workflow, IT's involvement is optional in the process. Now certainly there are companies that want the IT department to vet these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want these they want to vet these technologies and make sure everything works properly, but again, it's optional. You you put you are you are holding the red tape and you put it wherever you want. So this is the forceful message. Every single company should consider tag management. And when you look at the types of things that have transformed our productivity on the web, looking at web frameworks like .NET, PHP, Ruby, when you look at CMS systems that allowed us to add content to websites without having to actually write new HTML, uh, when you look at cascading style sheets that, allowed us to that allow us to change the entire look and feel of a website without editing any of the core content, and then finally as you get down to more of these UI uh, focused and functionality focused frameworks like jQuery, uh, Prototype, and less CSS. These are all things that, have, that are in everybody's websites today, and they're all things that exponentially increase our productivity, but a lot of these things are still very technical, and they're very IT focused. I mean, CMS systems, if you use a WordPress blog or something like that, you've seen what a user-friendly front-end experience can do, but every one of these transformative technologies for web development is about getting more and doing less, and not just getting a little bit more and doing a little bit less, but getting way more with far less work. So. True progress is not compromise. You don't have to pick two of these things like they always tell you. Uh, you get better to start with, which is you get to track more than you ever could before. Because with tag management systems uh, and these types of technologies, you can apply rules and tracking to things on your website that would take you literally tens of thousands of hours. If you wanted to track every type of one element across a giant website like the one Matt works on and individually tag those things, it would literally bring a business to its knees. And then finally, it's better because you get the company back to work uh, armed with more insight. You get people focused on why they open their doors in the first place, not focused on this kind of support role of tagging. Next, it's faster. You can deploy changes in minutes. Uh, most people would say, we sit in their office and we say, okay, if you wanted to tag that button with, uh, with your Omniture implementation or your Google Analytics implementation, how long would it take for that to go live on the site? And the average answer is somewhere around two weeks. We can do that same amount of work in under 30 seconds and have it live on the site. Again, it's not about hoorah, go us. It's about let's get back to work. 
And then finally, it's cheaper because when you can do things this quickly, you can literally save hundreds or at the enterprise level, thousands of hours uh, a year on this type of thing. So that savings is a real cash savings. So thanks very much. Uh, if you want to check out Satellite, uh, there's our address down there at the bottom. Um, but I would encourage you, like I said before, if it's Satellite or if it's somebody else, just you, this is something you need to be aware of because this is the Da Vinci robot of the internet. This is another major bullet in our progress of being able to do things more quickly with more agility, with better accuracy. So thanks a lot for your time.